that comes with a price, Brother Lamb. Amen. Again, I want to commend you on everything you do. I don't know all you do here. Amen. You're doing great. But are you satisfied? You know, I gave up years ago shaking pastor's hands, eating at the house, with them, all that kind of political stuff you do. It's tiresome to wear you out. Most of all, it's just disappointing. Anymore, if a door comes open, however, when I ain't got nowhere to preach, and I feel the itch, I feel I need to do what God's called me to do, brother, I, I go and get on to that bedroom, and I begin to call on the Lord. I don't start dialing up pastors say, hey, man, can you use me? Huh? No, no. Brother, there's been a few times that, that folks went, and I just read a revival in Somerset, and I'll be going up to Dayton, Ohio, preaching for folks who have never laid eyes on me, just seen that page, and said, you know what, I've been praying about a revival, I've been laying down and I can't sleep, you're all over my head, I don't know why, I can't get you off my mind, I say, well, when do you want me to preach for you, amen, hey, Scott, we can only do so much in ourselves, we want to do all we can, but there is a place, church,
75 or 80 faces to start looking back at me. And your mind will go blank, try it sometime. Without the help of the Lord, brother, that stage cry something else. Scary thing. Go down with me to Jonah, verse 3. Here we are. The word of the Lord came before Jonah. Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it. Amen. For their wickedness has come up before me. We find that there was a price to pay to turn that city around, to win them back to God, to save them from sure destruction. Amen. Jonah, chapter 3. Jonah has preached the word, church. So the people of Nineveh believed God. Glory, I might sit there and unpack that for just a minute. You know, we come here shouting, I think we ought to, we're Pentecostal. Glory, I like to shout. But when we walk out those doors and we can't pay the light bill, do our actions say that we believe God? Come on. When the boss man comes in and gives you that peach slip and says, look here, we're shutting the plant down. He's did me like that plenty of times. Uh, praise God, it wasn't long ago. Uh, I went into the office. They said, uh, you may not have a job much longer, hot huh, rod. Uh, praise God, I had to leave the plant for a while. Uh, you know how the economy is. Things are going bad. Uh, praise God, uh, those old boys from the plant, uh, they watched me for, for months and, and years. 